Ladies and gentlemen, now today we're going to be testing out Blue Lilia in normal ungeared PvP because we did a couple of videos yesterday and when it comes to geared scenarios, you all the pierce rolls, man, she is just stupid broken and makes Blue Demon Meliodas Hauser just even more crazy. Like, literally, I, I couldn't believe some of the stuff that we had seen yesterday, but I wanted to eat some pierce food and see if we can climb to uh, Champion 1 today. Uh, yeah. Yeah, with uh, in normal on gear PvP. So we've got a Kingbrim matchup to start off with. Everybody's favorite. We've got three Pierce cards though. Uh, dude, if we get the one turn KO in Ungeared, I'm gonna be so happy, boys. I'm gonna be so happy. But let's uh, let's see what we can do. We're just gonna drill in all of the cards. Let's go. Okay, that's really good, man. That's really really good. Oh, I think it's gonna be really really close. I think two Blue Team Melee Pierce cards, we might be able to one-turn KO a Kingbrim matchup. But I don't know, Kingbrim's annoying, man. It has a lot of potential to bounce back. Upgrade King, heal up, petrify. Don't know what this, uh, this fella's thinking again for. A Hellbrim card. Okay, so he's going to upgrade, maybe petrify, petrify? Ooh, that's going to be annoying. We can go for that. Oh, the, the thing is, man, if we had that, uh, what is it, Lilia card that allowed us to break these two bad boys out now, we'd be we'd be having a proper chuckle, but unfortunately we don't. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw down the sickest stab um, and hope that kills Gotha, and then I'm just I'm, I'm just going to waste this Hauser card? I think so, yeah. I want to draw either a Lilia... Um... Oh, man, so close! <laughs> Okay, what's the play next turn? Oh, if there's double CC, man, we ain't got anything to get the boys out. We're going to be in a bit of trouble. Okay, so it's got upgrade on Gotha, two cards on King. Hopefully, uh... oh no, double petrify. Okay, one on Lilia. And one on, um, Hauser. I think he's praying that I haven't drawn into a Blue Demon Meliodas card. Uh, and that prayer is oh, it's about to be, uh, <laughs> dreams about to be shattered there, my friend. So yeah, let's go for that. Well, uh, that's a, that's a great Kingbrim match, dude. I, I love seeing Kingbrim on the back foot like that. And on the back foot, I mean at like 10% of their health first turn. That's great. That's really, really good. But fair play to Christian. We did uh, have uh, that kind of like, what is it, one out of three start. We we draw into uh, like, uh, what is it, a total of three pierce cards. And then we just, uh, then we're just laughing at that point. But let's go for this, this, and let's go for the Meliodas card, I reckon. Is that going to be enough? I think it may be. Got lucky here? Oh, not quite, mate, not quite. Blue Demon Melee, he has, uh, I think it's like 20% more pierce rate on his base than Hauser. Uh, so yeah, his cards, uh, they naturally hit like a little bit harder. But Hauser is, uh, for the very first time, like an absolute beast in ungeared, man. Hauser used to be just very uh, very frustrating to play in ungeared scenarios. But Lilia, whoa, adds a fair bit of spice. I think if we run into a Valenti, run in resistance food, like Gelthon on the sub, we're in massive trouble though. <laughs> Because all of our strategy with this team uh, does involve, um, uh, like, what is it, uh, using the pierce cards and pierce damage. And if we don't have any pierce rate in, then we're in massive, massive trouble. But I think there's a pretty solid way to counter this in Ungeared if you are using somebody like, uh, uh, what is it, Valenti, Lilia, maybe Blue Demon Meliodas. Chuck a little bit of Gil Thunder on the sub, chuck on some resistance food. It's going to be an annoying team to fight. But uh, yeah, let's let's see who opponent number two is, and we're going to be facing another Kingbrum matchup. We're going against uh, V Gibbs here, and they're using Alt Rush food, so I think this one's going to be interesting. Let's go for let's go for all the damage here. I think. What do we go for the corrosion? Now let's go for all the damage because if we go for corrosion, King's just going to get rid of it. Go for the Pierce card there, straight into a Hauser Drill. Now the good thing is, if I get played like I did the previous time, we can dab a Lilia. Uh, ooh, interesting. 
trying to think. I might just triple down with Lilia, bro. If he's going to CC somebody, I reckon it's going to be like Meliodas and Hauser. I don't know. Oh, no, he's going for... Oh, uh, I thought he was going for Lilia there. Please go for... Oh, no. That is a... Uh... That's a bad time, man. I, I think we got to rely on the power of Hauser really here. Carry us uh, to the great beyond. <laughs> I'm just going to like throw away that corrosion, I reckon. Oh, okay. We're about to get smacked by King's Alt next turn. Hmm. Do we, we should survive King's Alt, though. King's Soul is still quite scary, even in ungeared, but it's a lot more scary in geared, bro. Saying that, I'm just going to get one shot by everything now. Come on. Greenmore on the sub. We're a bit more tanky. We can heal stuff back. So, yeah, that should be pretty good. Okay, so he's going for a heal on King. If he petrifies Lilia, we're in trouble. We didn't get the petrifies. That's great news. So, I think this turn... I'm actually just going to... I'm going to fully send it, man. We're just, just going to go for it here. I think we'll go for the dab and let's go for double Hauser cards because then that way uh, we can also get Hauser's ult for the follow up as well. But this should. Oh, that's some really, really nice damage off the gold there. Yeah, beautiful. Clean that much up very, very nicely. Oh, gosh. It's great. Like, King Brum has been very dominant in ungeared PvP in almost like every single meta. It's great to see King Brum, like, really struggle. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, that was, uh, was a bit crazy, man. A bit crazy. Right. What's he going to go for? I think he's just sitting there like, oh, screw this team, man. Screw this team. I'm done with this now. I've been playing King Run for two months now. It's the best team. I don't think anymore, man. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think King Run maybe has some, I don't know if it has some ways to kind of counter uh, a team like this. Hmm. Again, it's still early days, but those two matches, man, I was just trying to think of, like, what play would allow Kingbrim to actually deal with taking, like, 80% of their health first turn. It's just too much. It's just way too much. Okay, it looks like we've got uh, Big Daddy Eskinor here, Blue Dean Meliodas, Mad Love to Enra. Let's go for the, the polite Lizamote there uh, before we chuck in three Pierce cards. Very nice. I, I don't think we actually kill anybody here, though. So, Grimoire, I would assume, is probably on the sub with this team. Uh, if he uses Escanor to burst down Blue Demon Melee, that actually wouldn't be too bad. I hope Blue Demon Melee lives, but I ain't got no comeback plan with him next turn. So, the cards... Any card is, is not really doing too much there. Is he going to go for a Lilia heal as well? Oh, I think he's just going ham on the, the Lilia there by the look of it. Ooh. Okay, well, Lilia, uh, she's still standing for now, so that's really, really good to see. So I think here we're going to go for double um, double pierce, and then I'm going to go for the magical dab as well. I think the dab should be enough to finish off Escanor. Oh, no, 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 the Hauser cards are plenty of damage there. Oh, man. This meta is stupid, boys. I'm high key loving it, though. Right, who's who's on the sub slot though? Is that Grimoire? Yeah. Fellas come out to play. Is he gonna send it? Maybe he's got a couple of Dean Melly cards, man. Yeah. Okay. Lily is probably down. This man, man is going for the ambitious comeback here. Ooh. Blue Demon, he's all he's such a scary unit, man. Just because it can all go uh, south uh, very very quickly. Uh, so I think here we're just going to go for the triple pierce cards, and um, I don't know if we're going to get him down. I don't think we get him down. I think he's got another turn. So yeah, we'll uh, see what he has. If he has two more pierce cards, this is going to be a little bit of a battle. Hey, there we go. Opponent has forfeited the match. Dude, this team is uh, even crazy and ungeared as well. Smart. I never. I, I. I remember shortly after Blue Demon Melee came out. I um, 
Uh, tested him out a little bit in normal PvP, but he didn't really impress me too much in normal, just because, you know, pierce rating is a massive thing. But Lilia, just like boosting everybody's pierce by a ton on the base and having like pierce food as well, just makes this team like oh, crazy good. Oh, what is that another King Room match? Oh, serve me up another King Room, dude. I am, oh, I'm so game for this. Oh my goodness. Dude, we got that filthy triple pierce start. Let's go straight into it. One turn KO on King Room. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Hauser. Come on. Make the dream a reality. Oh my god, we were so close. <laughs> oh, oh, that is disgusting. <sighs> I'm sorry about that one, Dusk. I I'm sorry about that one, bro. That was, a that was a bit dirty, bro. That was a lot of dirty. My goodness, that was stupid. I was trying to fossilize this man. I think it's a little bit too little, too late. Fossilize this man, Rush King Zolt. Hope that we don't have any other cards. It's an ambitious play from this fella, but let's dab. King's down. Double drilling with Hauser. Do we have a play to KO next turn? I think uh, if, yeah, Blue Dean Melee comes out. Oh, we got a gold card. Yeah, okay, cool. That's, that's good. That's really good. Okay, I, I want to see how much this gold card deals in uh, Ungear, man. Curious. 250% of attack, and it's going to be 31,000 there. Hmm, cool, cool. Yeah, I, I like this team, man. This team is really, really good. I'm just trying to think if there's uh, any... Uh, I, I think for a, maybe a bit of a better all-arounder, Maybe Escanor in place of Hauser. But when you start with like all the Pierce cards, oh, dude, I like having a Hauser for that. The one out, one out of three or two out of six chance that you're going to draw like an additional Blue Dew Melee or Hauser Pierce card, it's just really, really good to have. But I think if we had Escanor in the team instead of Hauser, it would just guarantee that, um, uh, like first turn, providing. Uh, we're not even providing we go first, but first turn we can, like, kill somebody, I would assume. Oh, the retaliation play is going to be fierce on this one, man. Okay, so he's going to upgrade. I I'm going to assume Escanor. No, going to go for King? Okay, King would make sense, actually, if he's going to go for an upgrade here. Just because if he upgrades that... Ugh. Is that two turn petrify or one turn petrify? Ugh, might be two turn, bro. Might be a bad time. That might be a very bad time. Right, I think we're going to go for this and this. Yeah, if Blue D and Melly get CC'd, man. Mm, ain't too much we can do here. We're just going to chuck away this card. I need to hope that next turn we can draw a Lilia. Oh no, he's already out. Okay, that's fantastic. No, really? Oh, dude, please don't CC my Blue Dean Melee again. I'm in massive trouble if he does. I've only got Blue Dean Melee cards. Okay, that's that's just normal. If he kills Blue Dean Melee, we're also in a bit of trouble. Come on, Blue Dean Melee. You can you can hang in there, mate. Just a little bit more. Just a little... Oh, he's, he's gone. He's gone. It's dusted, mate. Dusted. Oh, no. I think I'm going to get wrecked here, man. Well, probably about time I got a taste of my own medicine in today's video. Go on, Hauser. Let's go for the comeback, son. You've got this. Oh, damn it. If we had a Lilia drain there, we, we might, have, might have been able to do something. But I think we are probably dusted after this. I want to see if... Hauser survives. Maybe he decides to go for Lilia. Maybe we can make a crazy comeback with Hauser. Then if Lilia dies, then we don't have the, the juicy pierce rate enhancement. We've still got a bit from pierce food, though, so... I don't know. I would imagine if I was in his position, I would chuck everything to make sure Hauser dies. <laughs> oh, no. Going for Lilia. Interesting. Oh, if he heals up, actually, we're in a, we're in a bit of trouble there. Oh no, how's it still alive? Let's go, boys. Easiest win of my life. It's going to be a win. Don't know about that one, Chief. Let's see. 
Yeah, <laughs> we actually gonna win this. Come on, Hauser. You just gotta get that king down. Wow. Um. <sighs> well, that's how you do it, lads. That that is how you do it. If he had just targeted, uh, what is it, Hauser with uh, uh, Eskinors. Oh. But yeah, I, th I think there are some interesting ways to counter this team, actually. If you do get the uh, the CC on Blue Dean Melly uh, first turn. Hmm. Maybe I should have gone for Green Mall Shield there. See what Merlin decides to go for. I think that's just a single level one, so it's not going to deal too much. I think if we go for... Um, I'm going to assume Merlin's probably going to target the Hauser there. So I'm actually going to shield up here. And hopefully that means Hauser can survive. But if not, Grimoire's close to an ult. So maybe he can uh, ult and win game. Is Hauser dead? Maybe. Oh, no, Hauser's still alive. Okay, that's great news. So let's go for this and fire off this as well. And then next turn we can get, uh, was it double ult win game? But hey, that was that was not too bad in the end. That worked out. <laughs> that worked out all right. Um, maybe got a little bit lucky, bro. Hauser, Hauser had the massive clutch comeback there. That was a really top tier performance from that fella. Let's crack on and go for the next opponent. Oh, there have been some very interesting matchups today, man. Uh, but the thing I really do enjoy about this meta is uh, the matchups are a lot faster. <laughs> it's uh, decided very quickly whether you're going to win or lose. Okay, looks like we're facing some sort of Lilia team here. Oh, okay. We got Lilia, Blue Dean, Melly, Eskinor, and we're going second here. My Blue Dean, Melly gets clapped first turn. We are in trouble. But if he survives, then we might be laughing. I think if I was him, I'd go all in. Interesting. Um. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not, not too sure about that play. Maybe trying to like get everybody down and then make some bursty plays with Eskimo next turn. I think might be the assumed strategy, but uh, you know, that, that, <laughs> that sorts that one out, eh? Straight down to two turns. There's also King on the sub. Yeah, I'm not too sure about this one, Chief. But I guess King, cause King on the sub can sometimes catch people off guard a little bit. Gonna hammer in on that Lilia, get her down. Oh, not quite, man, not quite. So let's go for, I think we want to go for this, and then we wanna go for this, and then I think we're gonna heal on Lilia. So that sends Eskinor to the grave. Uh, good old chunk out of King. And then, yeah, nice little uh, top up with Lilia, man. Her heal was really, really nice in normal PvP. It's actually not, it doesn't really feel that different from Git. Just because in geared, uh, I gear her with like a full pierce rate set. Um, so yeah, we don't really get much of an attack bonus because the heal is the same as, uh, what is it, Green Elizabeth. So it's based off attack. So we get kind of like the base attack from um, uh, the gear. Uh, but the additional substats, you know, for most characters is attack. But when it comes to Lilia, we want everybody else to have massive pierce damage. All right, so we just had to skip ahead a couple of matches. We just had some like really stupid bots, man. They're just making some ridiculous plays first turn. So I was like, uh, okay, these matches, they're just rubbish. But hopefully we can have a great match with a player for the final match. Please a player. Okay, come on, man. Oh, Natsu. Is the, we, we find a play here, man. Let's go for the, the, the polite bow. See if we, we get one back. I think I've, I've run into Natsu uh, a couple of times before. <gasps> he went for the polite bow. We've certainly got one uh, on the line here by the look of it. Okay, I think we're going to go for the, uh, what is it? Get the, the cheeky little corrosion first turn here. 
instead of the additional damage, because yeah, with without the second Pierce card, there's no way of a one-turn KO, but we might be able to line something up next turn if we do draw some good cards. Okay, that's cool. It's really good. It's exactly the draw we wanted, man. Okay, cool. He's going to go for Lilia there. Okay, that's great. That's great news. Hopefully he doesn't get her down. Oh, I think she just about survives. Oh, let's go. It is, it's game time, boys. It's game time. And I think uh, we're ready to play. Okay, so cheeky little blue team melee card. Straight into Hauser Cleave. We're going to dab on the Escanor, dude. Lilia. Is she going to seal this, bro? Two-turn KO, let's go. Oh, look at that blue demon Meliodas. He's got no elf left, son. He's got no ground. He's got no fans. Lilia probably dies next turn. It's likely he's drawn uh, at least one pierce card. I think one pierce card... Oh, actually, no. Lilia's not on the board anymore, so his damage has gone down a bit. But my damage is about to go down a bit as well. So yeah, next turn, we just need to make sure we rush uh, Blue Demon Melisol, and we should win. So let's go for... Let's move this about. We're going to chuck this Mad Lad off here. Go for the, the Pierce card as well. Then we get double ult next turn. Oh, still got a little bit of source to it. Nice little cleave down there. So next turn, we should be able to house the ulti. Uh, that'll finish off the Blue Demon Melee, fingers crossed. Hmm. Okay, I, I think we'll line it up like this. So we'll go for Hauser's ulti and then Griamore's beat that man up card. Um, and then if Blue D Melly still isn't dead, then we'll use uh, uh, the Melly ult on him. But I'm hoping that uh, those those two cards do get him down. He did actually regen a fair bit up the previous turn. But Griamore's fists are a weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, I'm glad we went for the safety play there, man. Just to prevent some sort of crazy, ridiculous comeback. But yeah, maybe I was too ambitious there. I, I would have probably gone away with it in Geared, but Ungeared is uh, a slightly different ball game. Fair play, Natsu. Mad love. Thank you very much for the match, sir. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think we will end today's uh, normal PvP video here. So hopefully you did enjoy it. Uh, and if you did enjoy it, if you do me a massive favor and smash that like button, that'd be greatly appreciated. But aside from that, Blue Lilia. She is just a game changer everywhere for PvP, man. Pierce characters are now viable and very interesting to run in... Um, uh, normal PvP. On the provision, you don't run, run into a Valenti, man. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Take care. I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.